We're here in sunny San Diego at the Society for Neuroscience 2018 convention, and we are happy to be launching a new product called the Zona Chips. So for the last 10 years, Zona has been bringing technology to neuroscientists that allow them to isolate axons from the neuronal cell bodies. Previous versions of, the, of our product were made out of silicone and required the customers to bond the silicone device to cover glass. We recently launched the new Zona chip that's fabricated out of optically transparent plastic that's pre-assembled and requires no bonding. And this is something our customers have been asking about for years to have a pre-assembled product ready to use and we're finally able to deliver it and we're really happy about it. Researchers have used these chips and other microfluidic devices to publish in high profile publications such as Nature Communications, Nature Neuroscience, and different journals. So we're producing, I think we have over 700 publications that people have used our microfluidic devices or variants of them in their publications. Dr. Ann Taylor's lab published a video on the Journal of Visualized Experiments, Jove, and it's a video journal article that actually goes over in detail how to use the Zona chip culturing with primary neurons. Hi, my name is Ann Taylor and I'm a chief scientist of Zona Microfluidics. What I'd like to describe for you today is some of our new results using the Zona chip. And so this is a, a new product that Zona's developed and we'd like to describe a little bit about the data, of why it's been so useful and why we think it's gonna be a new great product for studying neurons. We can use these compartmentalized devices for is look at injury and regeneration of axons. We can look at axonal transport. We can also use these devices for co-culturing. So, for example, one can add oligodendrocytes into this one compartment and look at myelination. Also, you can add different target cells and recreate certain circuits of the brain in vitro, such as motor neurons differentiated from human stem cells to form connections with muscle cells. So there's a lot of different experimental avenues one can take with a device such as this. And this seems to be a great solution where it's built in to the slide. Uh, we won't have to worry about leaking of our media and things like that. So that would greatly eliminate one of the main hiccups we have in uh, our culturing systems. What brought me here is finding complementary, new, interesting products that are applicable to incubation for live cell imaging, and I see your chip as a, a very exciting one. Many researchers use many different types of cells, and we have not tested all of those, but we are looking to partner with companies and start looking at different cell types to go ahead and make protocols so that we can help customers when they have their specific cell types that they're using we can help them with their process. I think as things progress, uh, you know, scientists are very creative. We don't really know everything that can be done with the Zona chip, but over time I'm confident more people will be branching out and doing even more complicated experiments with it. And in the future, we're hoping to be able to offer a multi-well platform. Zona had a great experience. We visited with many customers here that are really interested in using the new Zona chip line of products. We also met with a lot of people from companies that are interested in collaborating with us, and it's been just a fabulous time, and uh, I think we got a great response from all the people that came to attend SFN 2018.